Daily Words of God During the Age of Law, Jehovah laid down many commandments for Moses to pass on to the Israelites who followed him out of Egypt. These commandments were given by Jehovah to the Israelites and bore no relation to the Egyptians. They were meant to restrain the Israelites, and he used the commandments to make demands of them. Whether they observed the Sabbath, whether they respected their parents, whether they worshipped idols, and so forth, these were the principles by which they were judged sinful or righteous. Among them, there were some who were struck by Jehovah's fire, some who were stoned to death, and some who received Jehovah's blessing. And this was determined according to whether or not they obeyed these commandments. Those who did not observe the Sabbath were stoned to death. Those priests who did not observe the Sabbath were struck by Jehovah's fire. Those who did not show respect to their parents were also stoned to death. This was all commended by Jehovah. Jehovah established his commandments and laws so that as he led them in their lives, the people would listen to and obey his word and not rebel against him. He used these laws to keep the newborn human race under control, the better to lay the foundation for his future work. And so, based on the work that Jehovah did, the first age was called the Age of Law. Though Jehovah made many utterances and did much work, he only guided the people positively, teaching these ignorant people how to be human, how to live, how to understand Jehovah's way. For the most part, the work he did was to cause the people to observe his way and follow his laws. The work was done on people who were shallowly corrupted. It did not extend as far as transforming their disposition or progress in life. He was only concerned with using laws to restrict and control the people. For the Israelites at that time, Jehovah was merely a God in the temple, a God in the heavens. He was a pillar of cloud, a pillar of fire. All Jehovah required them to do was obey what people today know as His laws and commandments. One could even say rules, because what Jehovah did was not meant to transform them, but to give them more things that man ought to have and to instruct them from his own mouth, because after being created, man had nothing that he ought to possess. And so Jehovah gave to the people the things they ought to possess for their lives on earth making the people that he had led surpass their ancestors, Adam and Eve, because what Jehovah gave them surpassed what he had given Adam and Eve in the beginning. Regardless, the work Jehovah did in Israel was only to guide humanity and make humanity recognize their Creator. He did not conquer them or transform them, but merely guided them. This is the sum of Jehovah's work in the age of law. It is the background, the true story, the essence of his work in the whole land of Israel, and the beginning of his 6,000 years of work to keep mankind under the control of Jehovah's hand. Out of this was born more work in his 6,000-year management plan.